but a phrase that I like to use is strong is long and strong is long. <laughs> Absolutely nothing will influence your game more than how you put your hands on the club. It is beyond vital to get this correct. Let's go on the golf club, often referred to as the grip, or perhaps how you hold the golf club. Nothing is more important than how the hands go on the golf club. Now, if you look at my golf clubs, you can see I've, yes, I've been at work, I've been to the tattoo parlor, you might say. Um, as someone who's just getting into the game of golf, I would really recommend, or even if you're a long time player and you're just trying to do a reset, this is not a request from Martin Hall, this is a plea to get this as good as you can, get your hands on it. I haven't got my thumb sticking way down the shaft like that, I've got a V between my thumb and forefinger towards the trail shoulder. Don't do this, don't do this! That's the V pointing to your lead shoulder, that's a no-no. You want that V pointing to your trail shoulder, that's called a strong grip. Should you use an overlap grip? Should you use an interlock grip, or should you use a baseball grip? I actually don't think of it as baseball, because I think baseball, they hold the bat in the palm, so I just call it a two-handed grip. Okay, let me give you some thoughts on that. The two-handed grip, for many ladies, where the hands are close together, no doubt about it. The interlock grip, very good for greatest golfers ever, Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods, both use the interlock. But I would say, make sure you interlock the pinky of the trail hand locking. How tight should you hold a golf club? How tight should you hold it? Well, if 10 is as tight as you could hold it, trying to crush the shaft, that's too tight. Well, now, here's what I would suggest. Get comfortable getting your hands on the golf club. And it will be uncomfortable to start with, but in time it will become comfortable. This is the sort of thing you could do at home when you're watching TV. Um, you could do it if you're sitting outside in the garden or something like that. Get the hands on the club properly. There is nothing more important on this journey to you being a golfer than getting your hands on properly. It will serve you well, and that is a promise.